on Zach and, you know, him being out for the rest of the season. Hands on deck going forward. All right, it's time for us to hear from DeMar DeRozan back in the locker room in our Infinity Game Report. Mark, first, if we could just get your thoughts just kind of on, on Zach and, you know, him being out for the rest of the season, what that what that does to you guys and kind of your thoughts for him personally. Um, first and foremost, just, you know, worry about his health. I'm getting back um, 100%, getting himself together uh, more so than anything. You know, situations like that, you know, I always try to look, you know, past just basketball. You know, um, it's a lot. A lot we go through as athletes, and you know when you go through a situation like that, you know, um, pretty sure it's, it's frustrating. It's tough on him. Um, it's a whole different type of mental hurt, hurdle. You know, he got to go through with that. So, you know, um, hope the best for him for that. You know, as far as you know, teammates. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna suck not having him. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's Zach at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Um, one of the key players for this team. We've been battling. For a while without him, you know, I think it just, you know, it sucks to, you know, know he's out, you know, um, for the rest of the year, you know, more so of me just knowing how much he want to play. You guys have been shorthanded, like you just mentioned, a lot this season. How much is that kind of catching up with you guys? I mean, you've been absorbing a lot of minutes. And... Um, I mean, it's just part of the game. It's part of the game at this point in the season. It's a lot on everybody, you know, especially teams that battling for something, you know, and where we at, you know, we, we battling for something. So, of course, it's going to be a lot, you know, um, especially, you know, going into to that break. How much do you take from this game, the first half, mm -hmm. and how much do you take from the second half? What happened? I mean, everything. I mean, everything. You know, for us to get down 28, you know, to battle back like we did, you know, it just shows the key mistakes that we, you know, we afflict on ourselves to put ourselves in the situations that, that we end up in, whether it was first half or even late in the game with, you know, a couple mistakes here and there, turning the ball over, you know, fouling, you know, um, just mental mistakes, you know, it, it fall it fall back on us. You know, we played extremely hard, we competed, you know, we didn't, you know, um, put our heads down. I think we, when we was down 28, you know, we came in the huddle and everybody just was telling each other, you know, stick with it, man, one thing at a time. Let's just leave it all out there on the court, you know, so um, it's just about staying mentally locked in to, to the things we could control. What did you guys think you did in that next sequence? I think they had like a five turnovers right after that. Man, we, yeah, we was just aggressive. We just we just was going out there playing, you know, all out, you know, being aggressive, you know, picking up, trying to make everything tough on them, which, you know, you got to come out the gate with that type of attitude. But, you know, I'm proud of the guys for, you know, sticking through it um, and fighting. Not, not to get you in trouble or anything, but speaking of tough, that last drive of yours was kind of tough, you know. Could have, could have been a basket, you know, could have been something there. Yeah, I thought it was something. I'm just trying to be aggressive. I knew, you know, the foul previously, you know, we was hoping we got to stop, you know, it would have been a three-point game, you know. I think we was down five. Um, when I came down, I was just trying to be aggressive, hopefully stop the clock, get to the free throw line. thought I got fouled, but, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, DeMar, it seems like every time I look on Twitter, somebody's saying the Bulls need to trade everyone before the deadline, they need to blow it up. You know, what's your feeling about this team's future? And obviously, you could, may or may not be a part of it. I mean, the guys that's in here compete, got the utmost confident faith in them that we go out there and compete with, with anybody. You know, we showed it. You know, I, I, it sucks that we've been plagued with so many injuries. Um, you know, especially you know, today hearing you know Zach out for the. For the season, you know, losing Patrick um, for a couple of weeks, um, you know, it was good to get TC back tonight. But, you know, um, for where we at, for what we've been through, from how we started, you know, it gives me the utmost confidence in this group of guys that, you know, go out there and play against anybody. You know, so for me, I got the utmost confidence.